Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Welcome to the Rocket Right Show, starring Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar. Two busy blondes with their fingers on the pulse of all things Louisiana. Events, health, leisure, entertainment, and more. It's the Rocket Right Show. And now, here's Betsy and Kay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're so glad that you could join us for the... Woo! You got a cry. <laughs> For the Rock It Right Show, I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes here with Dr. K. Solar, and we are absolutely thrilled to have our guest, and first among them, Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Thank Glad you to be with you. Thank you. Know, I brought the, the holiday cheer with me. Well, you know, I thought we would finish hearing that hurricane word till next year. Well, I'm a good kind of hurricane. Oh, okay. Yeah. A hurricane of ideas, connections, good that's positive good. energy. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to bust the myth positive. of a bad hurricane. That's well, what that's we're going to do. That's, that's right. Great. Well, nobody's busier than you. Even when they say things are shut down and all that, nobody's busier than you because you are constantly inviting people to our home state. Well, we've got a great team around the state, and uh, luckily we've been able to juggle things. Um, I was so glad that the uh, high school football championship um, with the anticipated shutdown or scale back in New Orleans uh, made the, the brave move to Natchitoches and we're going to be able to you know, host those football games yeah. uh, in that great city and uh, so uh, we're pivoting around and getting things moved around uh, and dealing with it. That's all you can really do uh, but it's really um, it's, it's a difficult time. So what's the latest news in tourism and moving our state forward? Because you've always got a bunch of irons and ideas that are, that are irons in a fire and ideas that really bring people together to collaborate. Well, you know, we're, we've offered the land yet, which is really going well, as a lot of conventions have canceled this year. And now they're looking at where are we going to go next year? Uh, do we go back to the same city? Do we look for a new place? We've offered free Louisiana seafood and a local band or musician to help mm -hmm. them out. Um, if they come to Louisiana, anywhere in Louisiana. And uh, we're booking a lot of events. And uh, when we make that offer, it's kind of hard to turn down the seafood. And then, you know, we've had our best month ever in August in our state parks and looking for new and exciting private public partnerships there. We just brought in a group, Glampy. And I, I love that idea. I didn't have a clue what that was. I'm like, you know, I, I was, we were going to Napa Valley, and my husband said, do you want to do this glamping wine thing? And I'm like, what is it? Glamorous camping? I'm like, sure. He didn't think I'd want to do that. But I was like, when I looked at the places where you can do the glamping, it looks like you could be going to a cool place in, like, Fiji, where the little hut is over the water and the, the Fontainebleau cabins. But yes. then, you you know the tents with the glamping well, it's mm -hmm. all set up for you i don't like any work well, and you're doing all the work for we don't everybody have Fiji, but I tell you what <laughs> they, they, they have 89 set up all over the state uh, in the state parks some you have to take a canoe out to an island some you have to hike through miles of trails but then for people like me that want to drive up next to the tent We've got several, and, and you've got a bed on a wooden platform. A memory foam mattress. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to <laughs> sleep on the ground, fire pit, and you don't have to go buy that equipment. Just bring your sheets and what you want to eat or drink, and... Uh, and right now, it's a special, $89. You can't beat you it. You can't beat that. You can't. And you don't have to set it up yourself. I, I mean, how great is that? <laughs> Drive up with your food and your friends and family, and there you are. And I didn't realize people go all over the country glamping. So since we've brought this on a couple weeks ago, a lot of the reservations are out-of-state people, which is really good because they'll come here, they'll shop, they'll spend money in the restaurants, something we desperately need now. So that's another bright light. You know, uh, travel uh, is up 27% on the airlines. We're not ready to start marketing that, that, that fly market yet. We're still marketing to staycation, take a Louisiana road trip, and all the drive states. 
uh, and it's working pretty well. Uh, we just need to get through this thing, get that vaccination in place, and open our doors to the world. That's we're, right. We're, we're working really hard to keep everyone in tune. Um, we passed out, we sent all the travel agents to Canada, a Zazarac, a glass, and a mix, and we went on live and mixed the drink and said the gumbo's cold and the, the uh, gumbo's hot and the beer's cold. Keep us uh, in mind when you're ready to travel again. We lit up the Superdome red and white on Canadian Day, uh, and that picture made it all over Canada. So we're keeping our international park close to us, keeping them hungry for some Louisiana seafood. Absolutely. You That's know, one awesome. of the things you've offered in Lanyap, Louisiana Lanyap, with the seafood and a musician, one of your favorite musicians is here tonight. Right. And that's Amanda Shaw. And she is the most amazing, fiddling, phenomenal well, you know, entertainer. And people, she's known internationally. And so she's one of those people that you've gathered absolutely. to help promote the best of Louisiana, our seafood, our music, our people. She doesn't know it, but I've been using her name to all of these groups that <laughs> We're trying to lure her. Look, I'll get, I'll she's going to be busy, I'll you're saying? You, I'll get you Amanda Shaw, and you're like, really? Yeah. You can do that. <laughs> you know her? I don't even know if she's booked yet, but I'm booking her. <laughs> and uh, so, no, you know, let me tell you, um, she is exactly why we had four record-breaking years. When she performs, whether it's here or in another state, yeah. that love and passion she has for Louisiana That's right. is contagious. And so people want some of that. So yes. when she performs and talks about Louisiana, um, that's better than any commercial we could do. Yeah. So we are blessed to have her here in Louisiana. Yeah, you, you can't put that fire out. She's fiery and fun, and it shows. And then for Louisiana seafood, our food is one of the things that brings people here unbelievably, mm -hmm. our music and our food. And then later in the show, we're going to have Mike Shepard uh, with the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. So he's going to talk about his book, the history, a few things. So because we, we hope that everybody will stay tuned because this is, this is yeah. the Louisiana Christmas. Christmas this year because we're pretty much staying home, right? Absolutely. Yes. You know, uh, that has been a big draw, the, the Christmas lights. That's yes. something you get out, the Christmas trail of lights all over Louisiana and enjoy those lights um, and, uh, and do it safely. So that's a great opportunity to get people moving around Louisiana. Um, and hopefully um, we'll see some kind of scaled back Mardi Gras sep celebration in some parts of the state some during Mardi Gras, some later on. So uh, I like to say we don't cancel anything. Right. We may scale it back. We may postpone it. But uh, but we're going to celebrate uh, all of the holidays and all the great traditions here in Louisiana. It's been really hard on us because our whole life is a celebration. And then to say we can't celebrate the same way we have. Well, but it's like wearing the mask yeah, here tonight. You got to do it. And, and I miss hugging. I love to hug. Yeah. <laughs> we need to. And so that's... Uh, <laughs> You, know, you want to reach the out. The elbow and grab bumping somebody. doesn't quite do it. Yeah, not in Louisiana. <laughs> you know. That might work in Minnesota. But, uh, <laughs> well, they've got so many layers of clothes on, they won't really yeah. know if you bumped into them or hugged them or not. Right. Um, so you've really gone after the places right around our state in Arkansas, Texas, Oklahoma, and some of the other states. So you really targeted the drive market because people can be here in a short amount of time. Well, and also, the reason we've done so well at the state parks. We still offer, if you stay three nights in a cabin or in a, a cabin or a, or a camping space, we'll give you the fourth night free. We actually had one couple from Arkansas stay at 10 state parks taking advantage of the fourth night free. But they talked about uh, on social media all the great shops, places they ate. So they actually are retired and traveled all over Louisiana to take advantage of the fourth night free. So that is really helping draw people to Louisiana State yeah. Parks. And when they come to the State Park, they shop and eat in the local community. And people can post their pictures of their good time in Louisiana with hashtag only Louisiana, hashtag feed your soul. And then it shows up, oh, excuse me, all over social media. So it's really a great opportunity. Well, that's our best, our best ambassadors, are those people yes. in Louisiana, because anybody can do a pretty commercial. Yes. But when someone endorses a place or a product, I got to tell you, I stayed, I did my staycation. I was speaking to high school kids, and they said, where are you going on your staycation? I froze. I hadn't thought about it. So quickly, I said, Toledo Bend and Natchitoches. Well, we caught a lot of fish in Toledo Bend, and the Christmas lights and that, unbelievable. But my mother-in-law posted those pictures on social media. 20 of her friends from Houston 
went to Natchez to go to that hardware store that's been mm -hmm. in the same family for 100 years. So when you do something in Louisiana, you're going to enjoy the people, the food, you're going to share it with friends and family. That's the best sales tool we have. That's got. right. Absolutely. And there's so many places to really enjoy through the holidays. Like you said, the Holiday Trail of Lights, that's in eight cities. And you can just drive through and just have a really good time. And the light puts everybody in a good mood. That's right. You know, that's right. less depression. It just makes us all feel happy. Absolutely. And we can all get out and Just do like King Cake. Just, just like, like, king cake. like Christmas we king cake. We are going to be having some Christmas king cake on the show from <laughs> the great. Heavenly Donut. So if you can't wait till Mardi Gras, folks no. can go to the Heavenly Donut. They got Christmas king cakes in. Um, yeah, we're going to have some pictures of us eating that later because <laughs> it is wait. really good. Yeah. I know. They're one of the Partners One members, and our studio is sponsored by Partners One. Better barter for Baton Rouge and Deer beyond 4,500 businesses all working together to keep our economy afloat Absolutely. and we really do appreciate that so and much some of our partners one member sponsors elite chiropractic with yeah. dr ron mcmorris and danielle causey uh that's a dentist with causey metastetic so we're so excited to have them mm -hmm. joining us this holiday season and city group hospitality beausoleil coastal cuisine city pork um city slice and rouge Creole. They're also our sponsors. You. Yeah, I know <laughs> it. City Port well, Catering. Not She's that. got them all. <laughs> Look, if it's a good place to eat, we know where to go, right? That's I mean, for sure. Yeah, so, so that good hospitality. But stay with us. We're going to be right back with Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. And a little later on the show, we're going to have Amanda Shaw. You do not want to miss that. And Mike Shepard and Debbie Trailer with Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. Set tight. Well, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by, far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. Slimshot is the most in-demand injection in medical weight loss and we are pleased to offer it at Causey Metastetic. This safe and effective injection helps boost your metabolism, supports increased energy, burns body fat, and reduces appetite. These shots can be taken safely once a week or as needed when your weight loss is at a standstill. Slimshot combined with touchless lipo treatments produce a powerful one-two punch for targeting that stubborn body fat. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denno Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business. Surprise, something good has finally happened in 2020. 
Yours truly, The Clarence Bug Show, gets to be with you every day of the week. That's right, 11 to 12 every weekday. And, of course, The Exiles right in front of Yours Truly from 10 to 11, Yours Truly 11 to 12. So now it's appointment viewing five days a week here on The Pelican, The Clarence Bug Show. The only thing missing is you. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. Please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. Five hundred, but a good four, but a good three hundred, a good two hundred, a good two, two. I got a hundred and a half, hundred and a half, one seventy. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's twenty-one state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? Back with Rocket Right, I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes here with Dr. K. Solar and Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. And we're talking about all the wonderful things about Louisiana. It's more than we can fit into an hour, but we know that you love Louisiana as much as we do, whether you live in our state or whether you live somewhere else. And we're very excited for our sponsors to help bring this message to you. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, located in the Antique District of Downtown Denham Springs and Advantage Health Solutions, Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. So we're thankful for all of our sponsors, but mostly for the fact that we get to live, breathe, and enjoy Louisiana every single day. We've got to be the envy of the world. Well, I tell you, yeah. you know, <laughs> we, we are so fortunate to have so many assets, so many tools in our toolbox. Yes. Mm -hmm. And at a time when people, you know, camper sales are up, record numbers, canoes, bikes, to have so many trails, fishing. I tell people you can fish anywhere, but you catch fish in Louisiana. And you can fish anywhere, offshore, inshore, in our lakes and rivers, um, there's always something different to do. There's a reason we're the sportsman's paradise. Yeah. And so I think through these shutdown COVID times when people want to get outdoors and try something new, highlighting all of those great things we have to do uh, have really helped us weather the storm in some of the areas of state far better mm -hmm. than others. And um, yes. as we've seen in some of the smaller communities around these lakes, rivers, and the coast uh, have done a lot better than some of the other areas because they have the great outdoor adventure. Mm -hmm. And you know, we've taken a lot of hits this year with all the hurricanes. And one of the agencies that you're over is Volunteer Louisiana. And if you want to see how strong people in Louisiana are, just be there when there's a disaster because everybody comes together. Absolutely. Whether they have or have not, they work together mm -hmm. to make sure they can rebuild the well, community. And we, besides the 10,000 Louisianans, that are signed up under Volunteer Louisiana. Over a hundred organizations from all over the country and the world have come here and time and time again, you know, I I ran for office because I wrote out Katrina mm -hmm. and, and never saw a public official and got angry. Mm -hmm. But those volunteers were there and first responders from the minute the floodwaters went out and, um, and they keep coming back. And they do everything from feeding to gutting homes, uh, removing trees, and they're still out there. And they'll be out there in the communities that are affected uh, until the last person is back in their home. And, um, and I tell you, from someone that wrote out Katrina and, um, and feeling down, you know, are we going to come back? Uh, we'll never get through this. When people show up and give up their time to help you and your community, there's nothing like that feeling. And so we're so blessed to have those Louisianans that time and time again, have reached out and helped their neighbor and continue mm -hmm. to do it. And that's what makes Louisiana special. Mm -hmm. You know, when I ask people around the world, why do you send people to Louisiana? Travel mm -hmm. agents, mm -hmm. well, the food, the music, but every one of them has a story about the way Louisianans treat people. We treat strangers right. like family. And you leave with a friend, usually a friend for life, yeah. and you keep mm -hmm. coming back to visit them. And usually you go back and stay with them. So, that is something that no other place has, and we're so blessed to have those kind of people here. 
We yeah. really are. We truly are. And so there's a lot of people that really need our prayers, and they do need support through the holidays because they've lost so much. You know, 26 parishes, about a third of our state, suffered through Hurricane Laura. They're saying the damage will be worse than Katrina, which is hard to believe. That's really hard to believe. Well, I think it's the first hurricane ever, first off, enter as a Category 4 or, or 5, and then leave our state as a hurricane. So it made it all the way through the state, and when it left, it was still Hurricane Force Wind. So it did major damage mm -hmm. all over the state. And to think about dealing with that, trying to come back, your home, your business, on top of Corona, I mean, you just can't imagine what those right. people have gone through and going through. So we continue to lift them up in prayer, but we also, as I said, the people that are out there, we're continuing to go over and feed, donate, uh, Christmas gifts. We just had a big toy giveaway in Lake Charles. Yeah. Um, but we're continuing to reach out and help those people that really mm -hmm. need it. And we're going to come back even stronger. Absolutely. Because that's who we are. You know, when I look back, uh, how I felt when I walked out my door and saw nothing but water from my front porch and my knees buckled after Katrina, um, if you'd asked me then, I said, no way. And, and to see uh, how that parish came back and all the parishes do. So um, it's, it's a long haul, but uh, people, they put on their white shrimp boots and they go to work. <laughs> and not just wear them for a fancy party. We get to wear them just any time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, um, when I first got elected the governor of Texas, we went over for a conference, gave us all cowboy boots. And I said, look, I got up and spoke that night. I said, look, next year you're coming to New Orleans. We don't have quite as much money as Texas. Uh, and they put our name on those cowboy boots. It's beautiful. So we, we'll give you a pair of white shrimp boots and a Sharpie. You write your own name on it. And 32 <laughs> lieutenant governors left New Orleans with a Sharpie and white shrimp boots. <laughs> and so I got pictures of, man, these are really comfortable. Why we don't have them up here? And so we made a hit with the white shrimp boots. Well, you always find a way to make people laugh and have a good time. And so you're the best well, ambassador for Louisiana <laughs> that we could possibly have. Well, thank you. We've got a great team. Well, you know, we have an ambassador here of the Music Ambassador Program, your committee, um, to help just bring the musicians and promote internationally the musical talent here for our performing art artists. And as we mentioned earlier, if you're just tuning in, that is Miss Amanda Shaw. And so there's only one Amanda Shaw. So Absolutely. we wanted to bring her up because if you've seen the commercials or listened to the commercials in our show, you hear Amanda's voice on there. And she's really been working oh. hard to help people be aware of masking up and socially distancing and just supporting our state in every way she can. So I'm going to step away for a second and I'm going to let Amanda come step with us. Well, and so we just we really want to do something to just really recognize her for just the incredible person she is. So come Come on up, Amanda. And let me tell you, on New Year's Eve, every year, of course not this year, but every year when people are saying, what's your New Year's resolution? Mine's always lose weight. It doesn't work. <laughs> but, but, where, but honey, where are we going to go on vacation next year? We do an incredible thing live on New Year's, dropping the ball in New Orleans. And Amanda joined me last year That's and played right. incredible music and showed that passion to the world. And from that show every year, We've seen incredible bookings, people book, booking their vacation to Louisiana. Yeah. So we look forward I'm so to doing proud. that again. Oh, you know, I'm always going to be there for you, Billy. You're so awesome. And, you know, you do such a great job at leading our community because well, a community is only as good as its leader, you know, and us working together and having someone like you who advocates for us, you know, every day is so important. You know, it's all these, it's it's not just one person. It's just not just me. It's not just you, but it's all of us working together. So, Absolutely. yeah, and I love it. And I had fun on New Year's Eve. It was cold. It was. But I had fun. It, I had a a lot of fun it was it was really fun well you gave billy porter a run for his money and <laughs> i don't know if i had more sequins or he had more sequins yeah. on his outfit but <laughs> I, I, i'm just glad he didn't wear a dress that night oh because <laughs> <laughs> you know he's known for wearing that tux with the dress that's right that's <laughs> so. right but it was a really fun night and you know it's so fun to share with people like that spirit because you're right it's not um you can say the food you can say the music but you know a lot of cities i was talking with a friend of mine uh who owns a restaurant he you know he told he reminded me he said a lot of cities have restaurants you know and they have shopping and they have whatever but that's just a city there's something about that spirit 
in Louisiana Absolutely. that mm-hmm. makes Louisiana unique, you know, in comparison. Because we have the restaurants, we have the music, we have the food, but all, it's all of those things together that make it so special. Absolutely. Right. Yeah. So we wanted to honor your spirit. And so Mike Shepard, who is the president of the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame, and Debbie Trailer, who's also with the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame, have something that they'd like to give you. And I oh. would miss tonight. To oh be my here. God. Oh, he's my here. <laughs> I'm so in shock. Let me step aside. Let's see. You want to move over? I'm sure. Let you get next to it. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Don't look at it. Okay, okay, okay. Mike's got some more to say. Y'all got me. We got you. You got me. We surprised you. Because I asked my publicist five million times what this was for. Okay. And she was so. I'm calling LaDana. You're in a select group. (laughs) You and Hunter Hayes and Tim McGraw. I can't recall. In the mic. This one should be on. Gary? I hope so. Can you hear him? Lordy, are we on? Try this one. If not, you're right here. You can have my Oh, my gosh. She can have that one. I didn't even take, didn't even take, take a picture or anything. I wish yeah, I had awesome. that covered. Um, <laughs> I am so excited hey, about this. Let me start with this. I think everybody's seen it. you got to talk in the mic. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. We'll let Amanda see that now. Wow. How did I do? This is amazing. So most people get to have this presented at a concert, but not you. You're on television all across <laughs> Louisiana. Well, we started this when I was doing my TV show over here. Yes. John Schneider became the first one inducted on the TV show. Yes. Then Lane Hardy followed him. Oh, my okay. goodness. Today's Amanda's turn. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited. Thank you. And so to be a much. woman uh-huh. next to a woman like I told, uh, that is in entertainment is a special honor for me oh for God. being in the Louisiana you Music Hall of Fame. So you are awesome. Oh my gosh. Thank y'all so much. <gasps> y'all are so are I can't even get over how sneaky y'all are. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so exciting. Thank you so much. It's Thank like I told so, Chase Tower. So Tyler. You've been graduated from the Future Famers. Oh, that's right. I have mine hanging up in my office. I do. Now I'm going to have to replace That'll work it. With it. You can put them both up. Oh, my goodness. It's different pictures. Uh-uh, no. I'm we have one for Billy also yeah, to hang one. up in his office. Have We're twins. Like oh. Maybe hair bigger. I, I'd be honored. That's great. Thank uh, no, thank you so He's much. He's one of our biggest fans, right, yes, Betsy? He truly is the biggest fan of the Louisiana Music Hall. And of Fame. Betsy helped set this up. We all did this as yeah. a secret po- you project guys, for you. Thank this was. You so much. We appreciate your music thank and your you. love so much. And, and oh, Louisiana I musicians are. I am well, and we want to co- all suffering. congratulate you, but we want to let everybody know who's watching and listening that this is it. We're going to take a little break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk to you more about this, and then we'll have Mike Shepard on at the end of the show talking more about the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame and what all that means and what all is going on there. Oh, my so, God. So, stay tuned. Thank you so Thanks much. Oh, thank you. Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Rocket Right Radio with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is grateful for the sponsoring businesses who make our show possible. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts. Advantage Health Solutions and Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. Mary Bird Perkins, our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. High Tower Dental Concepts and Dr. Leah Larson, City Group Hospitality, Laura Sue Events and Marketing, Southern Airs Auctions and Tony Acord, Louisiana Women in Business Magazine, 
LouisianaTravel.com, LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one, and Dr. Danielle Causey with Causey Aesthetic Medicine. Thank you for making our show possible. I was diagnosed October 19th. I immediately started with a multitude of scans, and then I was having an eight-hour surgery. My biggest concern was my family, and being able to see me come home every day and know everything is going to be okay. I felt comfortable that I was being treated by some of the best. There were some scary points along the way, but um, it's just kind of like I've been a little blip in the road. Money, wellness, fun. Rocket Ripe Radio takes you all across Louisiana and the nation with guests who live life to the fullest. I'm Hurricane Betsy Barnes. I'm Dr. K. Solar. You're going to love it. Join us every week when we cover everything under the sun. Live and learn with the Wright Sisters. Politics. Health. Music and entertainment. Local language. Rocket Right Radio. You're going to love it. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker and Albany. Hi, I'm Tony Acor with Southern Airs Auction, Dental Springs, Louisiana. We've been professional estate liquidators for over 30 years. Please take time to join us for our weekly online sales on Facebook. If you need help, hit us up. We are often imitated but never duplicated. www.southernairs.com or Facebook at Southern Airs Auction. Five hundred, but a good four, but a good three hundred, a good two hundred, a good two two. I got a hundred and a half, hundred and a half, one seventy. Hey y'all, I'm Amanda Shaw. We all know Louisiana is as fun as all get out. So get out, take a road trip, and explore everything Louisiana has to offer. Fill her up and try a new restaurant that's as fun-loving as it is food-loving. Grab family and take off for monumental adventures at our 21 state parks. Or take a magical minivan tour along our 19 scenic trails and byways and rediscover the character and characters that make our state a lot like nowhere else. Louisiana is a trip. Take one today and enjoy a close by far from ordinary adventure that's sure to feed your soul. This is Lieutenant Governor Billy Nungesser. Plan your road trip at louisianaisatrip.com. And you're back with the Rocket Right Show. I'm Dr. Case Lillard in the house with Hurricane. Betsy Barnes and the newest member of the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame, Amanda Shaw, yeah. staying with us. And we're so excited. This segment is usually our medical segment. It's brought to you us to you by Mary Bird Perkins Auto Lady Lake Cancer Center. And um But this we is so are good for what ails you. To share <laughs> because you know it's a heart attack. That's it. <laughs> because you know what? Music that. is medicine. It, right? There you Music go. I like medicine. it. I like it. Oh and we didn't want to give you a heart attack, but we're glad that it brought some joy. Yes. Thank you. Right? Oh my That's gosh. Right. I'm still like so in shock. I don't even know what to say other than thank you so much. Obviously, thank you to to the Music Hall of Fame, the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame for <laughs> inducting me. And obviously you guys for, for, for surprising me and Billy Nungesser's office who has been, you know, so supportive of my career. You know, I, I remember playing, you know, shows for Billy when he was down in Plaquemines Parish and, you know, and the fun he that loves we had. You. Yeah, we, we ha we've, we've had so, a lot of fun together on, on our journeys and, you know, it's all about creating, you know, and that's really something that's so cool about Louisiana is you meet friends along the way and to say that, you know, Billy's just one of many stories of friends I've, I've had for 15 years, you know, in the music industry. That's just, so, that's hard in regular life, but in a, in a music industry where things are so competitive, to know that you have friends that are all championing each other, to, to do better for our community is 
just so special. So Well, I wanted you to know that we did invite Rock and Doopsy to come and be here. Oh. He wasn't able to because it was his son's birthday. Oh my but, goodness. I would but, call him. I would yes. call him on my way home. I'd yes. be like, where were you? So there was a few people that knew about this. Oh my goodness. I and Debbie I'm and Mike smack really. some people. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so exciting. You have good secret keepers. <laughs> you do. <Apparently. laughs> A lot of people that love you. Oh, my goodness. Well, I am just so excited about this. And, yeah, thank you so much to everyone who who made this happen. So you've got new music out. You've got uh, new jewelry out. You and Christy Callie have collaborated oh, uh, yeah. on some jewelry. We want you to tell us about that. Yeah. We have a um, picture of your new album cover. Yeah. Um, and so we want to tell you know we want you to tell a little bit about that so people can go download it. And we have even it. more new things that yeah. we're gonna that we're announcing. Uh, now <laughs> yeah feel free to just yeah, i mean while you're here okay. <laughs> okay so this is draw which i put out this year you know that was exciting because you know i recorded this album it, first of all it's it's cool because um it's my first traditional cajun album i mm -hmm. i'd spent you know most of 2019 learning how to sing in french and really revisiting a lot of the cajun songs that i grew up learning but you know never really performed or really incorporated you know when you're young you just want to get out there and it was so important to me to you know write songs and to feel inspired by louisiana culture but you know i felt like this was an appropriate time at 20 years in my career to really celebrate the roots of where all of that came from and i did that by making a traditional cajun album that i'm so proud of and i knew last year that i was going to name it joie because these this particular set of songs fill me with so much joy and that's what joie is is it's french for joy and um and so yeah i feel that it's it's truly you know full of joyful spirit these songs have brought me a lot of happiness throughout the years and that's really what cajun music is about so um it's funny to have released it in 2020 a record name <laughs> <Yeah>. joie. <laughs> but you know when you really think about it you know cajun music a lot of the songs are about you know I mean, life was hard for Cajun, you know, the Cajun community, right. you know, mm -hmm. uh, we, you know, a lot of people were isolated, you know, um, Cajun French is not widely spoken. Um, so this was a community that worked hard, life was hard, but they really embraced the happiness of having each other, the music and the food that brought them together. And a lot of those songs are about celebrating that. And that's, I feel, you know, I still feel, A, before 2020, I still felt that way that life mm -hmm. is hard. Who can't relate to that sentiment that life is hard? Mm -hmm. And it's really about enjoying mm -hmm. those small moments. But in 2020, wow, you know, that's really came to life for so yes. many of us that have fast paced lives. So, um, you know, I, I felt, I felt really proud to release an album named Joy, you know, in 2020. And we have a little clip of that. Um, maybe we can just play a little bit, just yeah. so people can. Let's see if we can oh, pull it up. Let me see what it, it is. Um, we'll see if we can pull up a song on there. But, yeah, you know, we released two um, music videos from it uh, yes. so far. Oh, so this is um, this is from Jolie Blonde. So Jolie Blonde is the song that. Um, Fans have asked me to perform my entire career. It's like the ultimate, we all know it's like the ultimate Cajun song. And again, when I was young, I was just wanted to play the fast paced songs and everything. But you know, I felt like Jolie Blonde is such a cornerstone of Cajun music. So I wanted to include it in um, in the album. So we partnered with Louisiana Clean Fuels to mm -hmm. create the music video. It's inspired by um, a Cajun Viking funeral and the idea of connecting, you know, the death of our environment and the death of our mm -hmm. culture would really be the death of Louisiana. And so, truly, you truly. know, um, to protect it and preserve it is an important aspect. And so to tell that story, you know, visually and sonically, um, and to be able to do that with Louisiana Clean Fuels was really awesome. So one of the things that maybe new fans don't know is that you have your own Christmas special, and this will be <laughs> the fourth year that you've done it on WGNO. That's right. And you bring that great sense of humor and that great energy <laughs> and guests together to celebrate the holiday season, and that's yes. going to be coming up. Yeah, so I'm really excited to announce, actually, this is the first time I've said it in, in because people have actually been asking me, but I have not been like um, at liberty to say until today. Is it for I, sure? Yes, it is happening for sure. So I'm like officially announcing it right now that it's Woo! happening. <laughs> and it airs, um, it airs on the 19th, I believe, is the first air date. So it's like happening like now. <laughs> it's happening soon. And we had to put it together. And obviously there were a lot of crazy challenges we faced because of, you know, COVID and everything. How do we film things socially distanced? How do we have, you know, smaller crews and, you know, um, you know, 
having music and all of that that was all very much a challenge but yeah as a creative person you know you have to embrace that so that's so special we have um uh mark romig of the new orleans tourism commission um ruby bridges who is a civil rights icon and yes. then meg bickford um who is the head chef of commanders girl power so i'm so girl excited power. to have them as my special guests yeah. on the that's show yeah awesome yeah that is going to be such a great show i can't yeah. wait to watch it and share and, it and yeah. i'm actually really excited because um for a few reasons this this year's special is really special to me because a i'll be releasing a brand new christmas song on the special so I wrote a Christmas song just okay. a couple weeks ago and I you know it's actually called lonely Christmas because I felt like this year was a year that I think a lot of people are gonna mm -hmm. feel that way and so this mm -hmm. song is really for anybody who needs a good cry and needs a moment to embrace that feeling of not being able to be with the ones you love and so I wrote a song for all the people out there really feeling that right now and we're performing that on the Christmas special so that's really cool and that'll be available um, ne starting next Tuesday um, on my website and then um, the other reason why it's a special is because the Amanda Shaw Foundation gave away a scholarship on the special and so we're gonna talk more about that so I can't wait to see who got the scholarship this time <laughs> are there yes. any other announcements of performances that you might want to announce yeah so um yeah definitely lots of things so i also have uh i designed some new t-shirts it's crazy when you have time on your hands all the yeah. things you can think of to do but <laughs> i have new t-shirt designs on my on my website and personalized greetings that you can purchase through my website which is awesome so if you aren't sure what to get somebody for for christmas you know or an anniversary or a birthday you can actually send a message through my website and uh, we have a link that you can purchase and i will send your loved one a personal personalized video message with um, anything that you that you want to say so uh, it's a really cool thing that we're going to be doing. That is awesome. Yeah that's going to be super fun so I can't wait to do that um, and then um, the last thing is is I'll be performing the national anthem for the Sugar Bowl. So. The Sugar oh, Bowl yeah. oh my goodness. <laughs> and I'll be doing a live a Christmas live stream as well from the cathedral in conjunction with WWOZ French Quarter Fest and uh, the National Park Service. Can cool. you believe just announced <laughs> right here this this is the All national anthem performer <laughs> for the Sugar Bowl on New Year's Day. Like, yeah, oh my goodness. I know. I'm what so What a excited. great opportunity. Maybe I'll have to bring this with me. I'm going to be like, I think oh, you should. Say, it's like holding up the, the, the boom box. <laughs> Can you see? That's right. Please do. I think that would be great. Just match your outfit. You Don't know? be like, ma'am, we're going to have to escort you. Out. <laughs> well, before we run out of any time, I want to hear more about um, those butterfly Jewelry. Oh, I totally didn't even get to yeah. that. Yeah, this year um, I partnered with, uh, my foundation partnered with Christy Kelly, who is an amazingly, amazingly talented jewelry designer. And um, we partnered to make a jewelry line. Uh, it's butterflies. Oh, there's a picture of me wearing yes. this. Uh, the butterfly earring. So for those of you guys who don't know, I'm actually 50% Guatemalan and I'm very proud of my heritage. And Christy's also Guatemalan. So the proceeds from this collection actually go towards the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce to help other young Latin um, business owners. So um, I'm really excited to be able to support um, a part of my heritage um, that you know is very important to me. And can folks get that if they're looking for Christmas gift ideas yes. like Absolutely. on your website too? And Christy Callie's website, but we ha I believe we have a link to the um, We'll share the that link, and I believe yeah. Selassie's Jewelry and Fine Gifts carries Christy Callie. There you go. Yeah, oh, so goodness. you can get it locally. And yeah. Christy is so talented. You know, whether you buy the butterflies or any of her other pieces, you can't go wrong. The quality Beautiful. of her jewelry is amazing. It really, really is. I own a, quite a few pieces, um, and um, I love her jewelry pieces. So, so hang tight with us, because we're going to ask Mike Shepard to join us okay, from okay. the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame and we'll be right back with Rocket Right with Yay! Miss Amanda Shaw, the newest inductee into Yay! the Louisiana Music Hall of Fame. Thank Stay you tuned. So much. Hi, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris of Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, conveniently located off the I-12 corridor in Walker and Albany. If you suffer from sciatica, migraines, or other pain conditions, give us a call to see if we have a technique that best fits you. We have multiple techniques, including chiropractic adjustments, massage therapy, dry needling, rehab, and much more. Again, I'm Dr. Ron McMorris with Elite Chiropractic in Livingston Parish, Walker, and Albany. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You come to Louisiana. 
Atlanta for smiles, not souvenirs. You come here to get lifted up, spun around, and put down in a brighter place. You come here for the distinctive music and the amazing food, but what really spills out of the horns and over the edges of your plate is joy. Come one, come y'all. This is Lauren Daigle inviting you to come feed your soul in Louisiana. Slimshot is the most in-demand injection in medical weight loss, and we are pleased to offer it at Cosimedesthetic. This safe and effective injection helps boost your metabolism, supports increased energy, burns body fat, and reduces appetite. These shots can be taken safely once a week or as needed when your weight loss is at a standstill. Slimshot, combined with touchless lipo treatments, produce a powerful one-two punch for targeting that stubborn body fat. Rocket Right Radio with Hurricane Betsy Barnes and Dr. K. Solar is grateful for the sponsoring businesses who make our show possible. Partners One, Better Barter for Baton Rouge. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts. Advantage Health Solutions and Dr. Boyd Michael Helm. Mary Bird Perkins, our Lady of the Lake Cancer Center. High Tower Dental Concepts and Dr. Leah Larson, Citigroup Hospitality, Laura Sue Events and Marketing, Southern Airs Auctions and Tony Acord, Louisiana Women in Business Magazine, LouisianaTravel.com, LouisianaIsATrip.com, take one, and Dr. Danielle Causey with Causey Aesthetic Medicine. Thank you for making our show possible. Where else can you take the trail less traveled at a pace all your own? Where else? Escape to one of Louisiana's 21 state parks for a picture-perfect getaway. Where else can you be a world away and this close to home? Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denham Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. I had a meeting with Dr. Barfield and it kind of just hit me. It probably is cancer. After the surgery, I wasn't scared anymore. I was looking forward to getting started with chemo. Not one time did I get a nurse in a bad mood. I was here for five hours at a time and I did not dread coming. To get people from around the country to come to Baton Rouge, and that says a lot right there. That this is place is cutting edge. I'm Dr. Kaysel. We're in the house with Hurricane Betsy Barnes, and we are continuing You are definitely with a hurricane today. <laughs> <laughs> Louisiana Music Hall of Famer Amanda Shaw <laughs> and Louisiana Music Hall of Fame's Mike Shepard, who just inducted her on the Woo! show officially. Tonight, officially. <laughs> Yes, and uh, we're really excited, again, continuing with such great sponsors, and this segment is brought to you by Citigroup Hospitality with lots of places that we can go out and eat and celebrate awesome. afterwards. Oh, my gosh. Uh, City Pork Brasserie and Bar, City Slice, City City Pork Catering, Rouge Creole, and Beau Soiree. That's right. Uh, Ooh. Coastal it's Cuisine. You would have to pick... They're a hard wow. one to pick from with the five. And also our partner, uh, Dr. Leah Larson. That's with right. With High Tower Dental Concepts. So they make all of this possible for us to be here. And we're so glad that y'all could join us tonight. We could be a part of this really special oh evening. Gosh, thank you guys so much. I so am ex I'm so excited and I'm so, I'm so appreciative. Thank you so <laughs> much. Thank you so much. I well, really we're going to celebrate by popping that yes, cork. Amanda's right. popping the cork and we're going to celebrate. Woo! See, I told you I'm good at it. <laughs> you are good at it. <laughs> I, One of my I, favorite. That's right. strong fiddling fingers, right? <laughs> that's right. All right. This girl is a 
phenomenal fiddler. She's won so many awards, so much attention internationally. And this is a really odd year because you're not traveling as much. But as you shared in the last segment, don't do one for me. She's performing oh, don't do for one. the okay. Sugar Bowl. Liquid drink in the city. She has okay. her own Christmas <laughs> special. She's designing jewelry. She's raising money and giving away scholarships. And creating I mean, lots more new music. <laughs> what a great example and inspiration for other young women. Oh, I mean, unbelievable. You. That Louisiana girl, man, she rocks. <laughs> there's something she in the rocks. water here. That's right. <laughs> that's you know, right. There's a song. <laughs> so I'd, I'd say a Amanda was song. like me, bored in the pandemic. <laughs> okay? And bring me those things, Al. Bring me those things, please, sir. So you did lots of stuff too. You for the did. Music you did. Hall so we wanted to share that with everybody. Forward to share so many of the members and the music to the world. Tell us about what is that in your hand? That that CD and that looks like it's wearing a Christmas Santa hat. And a Hall of Fame. And a Hall Christmas of Fame logo. Mm-hmm. In red, gold, and green. I love that. This is the very best of Louisiana Christmas. Two and a half hours on two CDs. Everything from Lead Belly to Tim McGraw, Fats, Louis Prima, Louis Armstrong, Mahalia. People and you're in that Hall of you Fame. Got it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you're Christmas. He's going to have to print another copy with your new Christmas song on it next year. That's right. Debbie Tra- and Debbie Trailer. And Debbie Trailer. <laughs> and Debbie Trailer. That's and right. Debbie Trailer's on here, actually. <laughs> You're about to get in trouble, Mike. <laughs> That's right. Don't no. forget Debbie Trailer now. This I is, it her. does, it really, I'm so excited to pop this in my car on the drive home. I really am. I'm excited Two CDs. to get in the spirit. This is really awesome. This is really awesome. Did y'all know that um, Kelly Clarkson is actually about to do a cover of the Vance Vance song, All I no. Want for Vince. Christmas? Yeah, yeah. Um, song, I All I Want. And that's a Louisiana songwriter. I just read yes, that story. Is. Yep. So, you know, I thought that was really exciting. And I just see that he, you have. Uh, yeah, Vinny's on a couple of things here. Christmas yeah. State of Mind. There you go. And All I Want for Christmas. Yeah. And she's about to cover that song. That's so exciting. More Louisiana people out there, you know. Mm-hmm. You'd be surprised, like, how many Louisiana people you don't even realize. Like, well, out absolutely. there. I go, a lot. I'm right amazed there. by the people that, like Mahalia Jackson, I've had to tell a million people. Yes, yeah, she's from Louisiana. She's born and buried in New Orleans. That's Both. Right. Mm-hmm. They went, really? Yeah. 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 And Louis Prima, they questioned. Sam Becher and Louis Prima from Bourbon Street. Yeah, that's right. And that's why Lena lives in New Orleans. And you are so awesome for always documenting because you've been around forever and ever. Forever, and ever. Mike. Right. You've been around and forever. It, <laughs> you've been helping document all of these amazing talents along the way. It, you know, I remember the party, you know, however many years ago. Golly, that's been In 12, 12 years ago. Yeah, that, that, the, that I got the future Hall of Famer award. And, um, yeah, you've done a great job at like always documenting, you know, what's what's happening in Louisiana music. Well, like you were doing, I grew up around most of these people. And I sort of like Sugar Boy, I was so happy to have Sugar Boy there. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, it's it's amazing the amount of talent we have here, you know, and that you just you find, you know. Yeah. More Grammy Award winners than any other state, and more Grammy Award winning right. nominations. Than any other state, and you can just probably find most of these people hanging out a corner bar on a, yeah. t- on a Tuesday night. Well, you know, that's the crazy you, part. It's not like they've been there at times. So I promise yeah. you. Tell well, us about now, your what, book. what is this? Is pretty hefty. This is uh, Mike. a prototype that didn't come out right. See how small <laughs> the text in the pages are? Oh, I see that. And for for you know, and we the, had to break out the uh, for those thirty years old those, that need uh, the reading glasses. Glasses. <laughs> yeah. You're going to have a big print version, right? So I don't have to put no, my glasses on. No, the new on. version is going to go from there. To, it's going to be so scary. what's the title it. of your book and how can people the find it? The actual title is Shepherding the Music. Ah, That's yeah, Shepherding the Music. Shepherd. That's great. <laughs> very, very inspired. We'd That's like so to thank cool. Dale Moon for that title. Oh, yeah. And Dale and his sense of humor came up with that and said, no, Dale. He said, think about it. I'm, not, I'm kidding. I'm serious. I, it's good. That's so, what you sort of do. You sort of shepherd the music and, you know, help it. So tell me about what inspired you to put the book together and exactly what's in the book. Kind I, of a overall. Number one, I was bored. You were bored. Yeah. Yeah, we've all been bored. We've reconnected with our inner selves during and COVID. This book was written from my heart and my brain. 
I didn't do any research on it. I didn't need to. It was all right here. So people can find this. Is it a historical account of different things, or is it specific it, it certain things? It has a things? lot of stories and a lot of anecdotes in it. Mm -hmm. uh, it goes back to 1960 where I started it. The, the foreword is by Dr. Hardy, mm -hmm. the former state archivist. Mm -hmm. He said, I truly expect, because of the book's quality and Shepard's knowledge and ability to capture the history of Louisiana's music industry, this volume will be indispensable as Louisiana's music encyclopedia and multimedia reference book. Well said. Yes. Wow. Awesome. Well said. So it looks like you've got a ring on your hand. Is that new jewelry? What what is that? You know, I don't want to design something. Ah, they, oh my gosh, that is super cool. So, so, so it, tell it, us about that about ring. Hall of Famer football, you've got a Hall of Famer music class ring. Class ring. So we in music Hall of Fame class ring. Cool. So anybody can anybody who's a Louisiana yes, Music Hall of Fame or Hall of Fame award winner can order that yes. and be able to enjoy. Yes, and that. I've had a couple of people Amazing. tell me that their daddies died, and they might want to get two or three for the family. Oh, that's, that's a great so idea! What a great Christmas gift! That and they should great. get the book to go with it. That's right. Uh, yeah. er everybody should get the book. <laughs> Spoken like a true author. <laughs> I, I had it reviewed by four or five people, and all I'm getting is, it's wonderful. So there's nothing negative in it. It's all written with positivity. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's a story of my life that I've been through since 1960. On well, up. Well, Mike, how can people find it? What's your website? LMHOF.org. And by the way, it's a brand new website. Okay. It just went up last night at 10.30. Perfect awesome. timing. Wow. And you can find out who all is inducted in there. And you'll be soon to see Miss Amanda <laughs> Shaw's picture on that website. That's right. We are That's so right. You, you can glad go tonight. that our show <laughs> could be where you were inducted. That's right. It makes history. It, Make sure you rock you it right, right with Louisiana right. musicians. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll see you next week. <laughs>Since the early 1800s, the Selassie family has played a significant role in the retail industry in Louisiana. Stuart Selassie has achieved the Certified Diamond Graduate designation from the prestigious Gemological Institute of America. What that means to you, whether it's appraisals, design, build, repair, or diamond sales, you have an expert you can count on. At Selassie's, you make all the right choices. Selassie Jewelry and Fine Gifts, in the heart of the Denno Springs Antique District. Find them on Facebook. Are you a business owner that could use just one more customer? Those empty tables, vacant appointments, idle employees, and expired merchandise are missed opportunities. What if there were a community that connects you to high value and motivated customers, giving you a competitive edge in the marketplace and increasing your revenue? Introducing Partners One. You keep doing what you do best, taking care of your customers, and we'll do what we do best, sending you new customers to take care of. Call us today to find out how Partners One can work for your business.